for joining us. Give it up for uh, Brad Dorff. Uh... So what is it now to be in this? Yeah, well, the whole, the whole thing feels... <laughs> I've been saying this for 10 years now, but it still feels kind of surreal. Um, it just feels like winning some kind of lottery that keeps paying off. So we get to, <laughs> we get to make these movies which are absurdly fun, and then all these people like them. Yep. Uh, and... That would be you. <laughs> Wild and kind of lucky, you know. Yeah. I just feel sort of lucky. Yeah. And he's a he's a he's a good dad. First time I think that, you know, it started out when Fiona was too young to remember, um, but uh, her first exposure to Chucky. But I was um, doing the first one, and I did a, do the voice mainly. And um, at the end, I do ADR, which is to put all the sounds that when Chucky isn't talking on the, uh, on, uh, you know. And there's, in the first one, Chucky spends an enormous amount of time burning to death. <laughs> <laughs> running around, and, um, you know, I had like maybe three of those in me, uh, of screaming and yelling and agony, like I am really, really dying. I mean, you know, like going like, <laughs> And I'm screaming like I'm in agony, and poor little Fiona is in the booth, and she freaks out. I'm dying. Also, and why was I in the booth? <laughs> Somebody took me in the booth. I was working. So, and she takes off and goes running out of the out of the place, and they tell me. You know, your daughter was in the booth, and we don't know where she is. <laughs> and so I, had, I go, Kara, I say, you know, Fiona, I'm fine. I'm maybe a little hoarse, but I'm fine. And, um, and maybe you should sit this next one out, you know, and, and don't worry about me. And she saw I was fine, and, 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 that, and that was her first exposure hey, to Chucky. I don't know if I fabricated this memory or not, but was I at the premiere in 88? Yes. Also good parenting. <laughs> I didn't see the movie. No. No, I did, it just was there. You were just there. Okay. Do you remember what age you did when you did see the movie? Uh, I hate to admit this to you guys, but I, I get too scared in horror movies. <laughs> I, yeah, he's way worse than me. You should see him trying to watch a horror movie. He he paces in the back of the theater and then he leaves and talks to himself. <laughs> he's like, he shouldn't have done that to that girl. That was terrible. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I probably saw it when I was, I don't know, like, uh, maybe 10 or 11. I had an yeah. evil older sister who used to make me watch Yeah, movies. her older sister. Love, I, I, you know, had a strict rule that no one watches anything until they're of age. And so when her sister was 14, I said, okay, you can pick whatever you want. We went to the store and she picked out the movie she wanted to see, which was a horrible, <laughs> kind of thing. And I watched about five minutes with her because I was trying to be a good dad and then I was not possible anymore. <laughs> And I came back at the end, and she was sitting watching the titles because she was very interested in who did the makeup. And it suddenly dawned on me: this kid has been watching horror films for years. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, the kids did as they pleased. <laughs> we were all kind of blown. Up. I mean, it's so surreal to have you play uh, your own dad. Uh, and. Uh, there was a video that went viral of the kind of complete transformation. But what is that like for you, like personally? Because it's mind blowing. Yeah, for us. yeah. I um, I actually did 
didn't really think about, when they told me they were going to do it, uh, it was because Don Mancini is a close friend of the family. He was like, I think you, I think it will work because this part of our face is the same, and I have his laugh, which is my actual laugh. He was like, oh, you kind of sound like Chucky. <laughs> 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 And then you actually have this hard, like, guffaw cackle you can hear from miles away. But anyway, uh, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to be a thing. And then it takes four and a half hours to do. And I looked in the mirror in hour three uh, and was pretty disturbed in ways that, like, I, that I just wasn't expecting. I, I think as you get older, genetics kind of take over a little bit more and you start, like, acting like a parent. And I don't know if you guys have ever had that. You've noticed that anyway, you're like, why do I think like my mom in a way like I didn't <laughs> But anyway, just to have his face fucking professionally <laughs> and I couldn't get it off. Uh, and anyway, I like I had quit smoking and then I smoked a cigarette and I realized I was like, okay, it's it's weirder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I um I was doing ADR, which is you know what I was explaining before, and um, I saw uh, and I was gonna do you know, this, this scene that I saw me, um, and he gets put on I don't remember doing that. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't. You know? and, um, and then I, uh, you know, I got jealous a little bit because I thought oh, Charles Lee Gray was better than mine. <laughs> And uh, I got over it quick. I said, well, I might as well be proud. I am her father. <laughs> and um, and uh, um, but then I had to loop her. I had to do her voice because the studio felt that they wanted her, it's confusing, they wanted her as Charles Lee Ray to sound like me. So, and then her as Nika. Chucky. Chucky. Yeah. To sound like her sounding like Chucky. <laughs> 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 so, um, so that's uh, that's what. So I had to ADR all of her. Some of it's kind of sad because I really like what she did. Oh, thanks, Pop. And <laughs> some things you can do that um, that, and then there's some things that other people do that you can't do, and it's always sad to lose that. But we try. Well, you're doing well. You're doing well. Uh, Dale, I want to know what it was like, because I think Chucky is interesting because it's a lot of people's kind of gateway into horror. There's, you know, it's it's focused on kids. He's he's a doll. Um, a lot of us saw it at way too young of an age. But uh, for you, what was it like and as a kid, like kind of coming into this franchise? Um, well, the thing is, when I first got the role, I didn't exactly know how big Chucky was. I had never actually seen any of the Chucky movies before I got the job. So then when I got the job, then I started watching. So it just means your parents did something right. As far as smart as Yeah, when I got the job, I started watching the movies. And then, like, when it was all announced, I started, you know, getting a bunch of followers on Instagram. People were saying, oh my god, I've been a fan of Chucky since, like, I was a tiny kid. And I started realizing just how important this franchise is yeah. to so many people. I'm sure that it's really important to all of you guys. And, and, and doing things like cons, it, it's, it feels so good to be able to... I, I don't know, it just feels good to be able to meet all of you who... This is just such a big part of all of your guys' lives, and it, it, it means so much to you. And it, it means so much to me that I that we get to you know meet you guys and, and sign your autographs and take pictures with you because I don't know, yeah, it's just it's it's been so wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's, connected to these films, certainly after, you know, recently of not being able to come together and really having a lot of these films, you know, and, and catching up on these movies, and, and so the Chucky fan base really seems to be special in a way, you know. We're right? fucking devoted. Yeah. yeah. I, never, I, I, never I, I never understood it, but we will be, thank you. <laughs> 
did you then write that wrong and go back and watch all seven? Yes, okay, I have seen. Right. Actually, no. <laughs> Seven of them? <laughs> I have not seen Bride and I haven't seen the remake. Jennifer Tilly has come back in the series as well and seen that reunited. And I hope there's a lot more we can expect from season two, which just got announced. So seven films, and then to transition into a series like this, which has really kind of taken on a new personality for this franchise and just keeps going. What was that like to transition from films into a series? Does it feel the same or is it Different? Well, you know, I, like I've done series before, yeah. and there's a big difference. Um, one's a great one, but it's it actually is the same for me um, because Don Mancini writes his scripts, right. and of course he writes for me. Yeah. Um, uh, so I mean, he knows me, and he and, and he and he knows how to write for me, and um, and that's one great thing about series is eventually once they get to know you, they write for you. Yeah. Um, it's really cool. I can't tell you how cool that is. And the second thing is, is characters have to evolve. You can't like, you know, Chucky is like Chucky and you could get away with it for a movie, but in a series, we got to know more about it. And there's, and uh, so it's really, um, the series explores Chucky in, in, in a kind of depth. That's why they had to I was not capable of it completely, so they had to bring my daughter <laughs> to really get into the meat and dig, dive way down deep. Um, and, and that's a major difference. Yeah. That's a major difference. There have been some um, decisions made, as, as we all here know, that, uh, that uh, Chucky is just uh, genetically wired to kill. Yeah. Um, that's, that's who he is. Um, and that's sort of a decision that was that was made for this. Um, we had to dig down into the epitome of the dwarf asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, as in my experience, I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of my heroes. It's all you're always the nicest guys, and couldn't be more opposite of you know <laughs> these yeah. homicidal maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, it, it, you know, it, it is interesting because you go back and watch that first one, which is very self-contained, and it's, it's, uh, it's interesting it's, it's to see the trajectory of this franchise and the way it's evolved and the humor has come in more and the way it's become very culty uh, in, in its kind of tone. And I think the most exciting thing in that line of, of, um, of observation is that um, Horror has gone through a lot of different phases, and um, I mean the first phase when I was was uh, was a very uh, straight ahead serious scary movie. Yeah. That was it. That was the Hammer films, those kind of things, Dracula, and they were trying to make really serious scary movies. And then um, there was a. a a, a movie uh, called Dr. Fives. Yeah. Oh. Yes! It's a big Dr. Fives fan. I, you know, I suggest if you're really into horror that you see that because that was probably Vincent Price was a genius in that thing. He was really, really incredible. But it was the first kind of camp ish camp take yeah. Yeah. On, on murder to really, really, and it changed it. So, so when we first started, Horror was camp. It had to be a little bit camp. But horror also has to be follow the main rule of uh, you need a monster. And a monster is 
something, someone, or something with whom you cannot negotiate. You know, if it comes after you, you are prey and you are dead. And it turns a living, breathing human being into a piece of meat. And those, he can be funny, but he's got to be that close. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, that's the edge that you kind of have to, have to walk on. That's, that's something Don and I talk about all the time. Yeah. It's like, Don, might be getting a little funny here. And um, he's like, <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> And, um, but he is scared of not, of not doing it. When I did uh, the first movie, I was working on another film at the time, um, and I was out of town, and they got somebody else to voice the doll. And they loved it. They, when they were doing it, they loved it. They were laughing, and they thought it was great. They put it in front of an audience, and the audience hated it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really. When they first said it. I didn't know the guy, and I wouldn't say oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, but he wasn't, he wasn't scary. The guy was not like, you know, you could crack a joke, but you've got to really intend to yeah. take a, make a living human, real person into something, a piece of meat. Yeah. So, um, so that was, um, I don't know why. Can, no, I, can I ask him a question? Do you please, mind? Oh, absolutely. Why, 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 why do you think you can do that so convincingly? <laughs> Very disobedient children. <laughs> <laughs> but really, why? Why do you think you you? Because I have, you know, I'm having the same typecasting. <laughs> I just wonder why you why why have you ever reflected or figured out why people Look, see you that way? It's, it's my fault. You know, I think we're both genetically kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think you mean. You know, I, think, I mean, Don called me up and said, you know, I got this girl that is going to be in this movie. This was... Uh, Don't tell this story again. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to tell it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we say more. I mean... <laughs> okay, so he said, he said I, I, do you know any actresses who are kind of edgy? And I went... <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said, my daughter, and actually she's like really good. And he said, okay. And he had her in, took one look at her and said, oh my gosh, she's like... In fairness, that's not actually what happened. <laughs> but it's, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice it's a nice story. Well, that's what he told me. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah. Tell you. Yeah. We're working stuff out. <laughs> No, you, you're, you're right. I mean, the, the camp line is so hard to walk because you don't want to go too campy because then people don't take it seriously. And then it changed again. With the, what was it? Scream where it, yeah. everything became self-referential. Right, yeah. And what did he write? Bride of Chucky. Yep. Which is references, uh, which, you know, references um, uh, Bride of Frankenstein. Right, yeah. And, I mean, he, it was such a good script, and he did it in such a cool, yeah. brilliant way. And then after that, I guess what it is, it's, oh yeah, back to the, the original, back to, um, you know, and I have done Halloween 1 Halloween 2, which is a whole part of that movement. And, um, and you know, he does, he hires <clears throat> Fiona. Yeah. It goes back to the original, you know, Spooky. Yeah, got serious again. Got serious again. Now it's art house horror. But I don't think we'll ever see a A24 art house horror version of Chucky. Now it's going into outrageous and funny. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's let's take it to y'all. I'm sure you got a lot of great questions. Uh, yeah, right up front. Um, I don't know. Are you able to explain how Chucky can be in multiple people? Well, in love what? Multiple um, people? <laughs> yeah, but how do you, how do you, how do you uh, split? Yeah, how do you split? <laughs> well, <I'm sorry. laughs> um, the great god Yambala has told me all if I divulge that secret. <laughs> My favorite kill? Yeah. I did. You know, I don't get to do the killing. I just. <laughs> but 
but my favorite moment of like doing that kind of stuff was um, in the first one. Like there's an, a, a woman who gets off a who gets off an elevator, and Chucky's on the top, and you go up and you see, and and I'm then there's a fuck you. <laughs> Uh, let's go here, right here. Hi. Who was your favorite victim? Who's your favorite victim? Your funeral? Oh, not Andy Barker. I see you did terrible things to Junior. Well, that, that, that was all psychological. <laughs> and then it ruined you. Well, you know, he was already, he was down with dark. <laughs> The other person who that would be here, Devin, is kind of kind of both. That yeah. was very good. We can blame everything on Devin because he's not here. Yeah, I know. I'll go grab his hand. Go grab him. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Yeah. So um, that that was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I want to say the TV show, but we're all quarantined, so it was like Chucky Jail, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, maybe you had, the deal is you were with, you got to hang out with people. I was just like alone in a room when I wasn't working. Uh, but the TV show is real fun to make. I'm so glad you guys like it. <laughs> um, I would say uh, probably probably curse Don Mancini, who I think I had met when I was a kid, but we really became friends when I was 30. Uh, it was, he's just like a, he's like a deviant, <laughs> he's like a deviant, lovely, funny, great guy. I love him with my whole heart. Um, so it just felt like making something with a friend and we giggle the whole time. We're like, it's like a kingdom. It's like, he gets to like have this kingdom of a set where everybody listens to him. <laughs> um, so yeah. Please keep liking them. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I think it's another thing that makes Chucky special is having him as this kind of guiding hand. There aren't a lot of franchises that have had this consistency yeah. with someone like that. And, and there he, aren't a lot of people who are writing who understand yeah. what people want yeah. and are able to really make a, a script happen. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, clever. Absolutely. Let's go like all the way to the back. You're gonna have to project. I see like a tiny hand back there. Oh. Tiny hands. There you go. Yeah, there Hi. you go. Hi. Okay. How old is Chucky? How old is Chucky? We've never had that question before. <laughs> well, you know, Chucky is plastic. So, you know, he, and, you know, he's, uh, so, you know, his bones don't, uh, you know, aren't, don't get sore, he doesn't lose cartilage, you know. Something like that. Um, he has whatever. So, um, so, he kind of doesn't age, and, you know. Wait, wait, how old was Charles when he became, when he went in? Oh. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I was in 88, I was uh, 30. 38. So Chucky is 38 years old. Chucky is 38 old. years old. Chucky is 38 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 years old. Um, man, there's so many hands. This is hard. You pick one. I don't know. You pick one. Uh, yeah, we'll have Chucky pick one. Oh, Chucky, yeah. Can you see Chucky? Oh, God. <laughs> the, with the red face. There you go. See that? <laughs> okay. Harry? What's the most craziest fan experience you've had? The craziest oh, fan experience? Fan experience. Oh, it's a good question. Fan, fan experience. experience. No, the kids have the, the, kids have the questions. Yeah. What's the craziest fan experience? We're only calling on kids from now on. Are you, uh, that wasn't just me, guys. Uh, they're probably here, because this is your only experience. I got, I mean, I have one. <laughs> like, uh, I, have, I have several times had, had like, very young, uh, like, girls in their 20s be like, hey, would you do me a favor? I can't get into your car. Would you hand this to him? And oh, no. And I'll open it and it'll be like, I would like to have sex with you. <laughs> like my, you know, my father was in his 70s and I'm like, oh God, do I like give it to him? <laughs> Get bigger. <laughs> it's kind of like, I'd like him to sign my breast and I'll tattoo it. And I'm like, you just, you gotta bring that to him. My yeah, so, um, don't do that. Uh, today. I'm sorry I answered that question to a little girl. I <laughs> that was the answer. Okay. I have to learn young to not act that way. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I think it's just weird. 
um, teenage girls making compilations of me murdering my father. <laughs> Sometimes, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's really bad, actually. Uh, oh man, um, uh, are there more kids? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All my kids. Sure. Um, I'm Jessica Lee. I'm a freshman at Stanford. Um, I'm a senior at Harvard. A character who's been shaped by Chucky from in utero to now in a boxing Helena situation. Yeah. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that character's evolution as to where she is from then to now? Yeah, so so in the second season, which I'm about to go and shoot, um, she uh, John switches sort of where emotionally she's coming from each installment, which is why I think these movies hold up, is there's actually a lot of there's nothing really lazy about him, you know? He's like, yeah, sure. he really tries to, everything's very well thought out, and he's got a good brain. So uh, she is gonna have an even, a, a, a different, she's had it fucking hard, man. God. Did you guys see the end of the series? Yeah. Oh. Like, John told me what he was doing, he was laughing. He like, <laughs> shot it was supposed to end the series, which I thought, um, you know, maybe I'm a narcissist, but I was like, I thought it was going to be better because it was so disturbing, but the studio thought it was too disturbing. <laughs> um, I did too. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, it's fun. Anyway, uh, so she's just had it hard, and um, now that she has no limbs at all, um, she's, uh, she, I can't tell you, I realize, I'm just blabber, I can't tell you, but she's got it, she's got, she's got a new turn on things. <laughs> Watch it. I think it's really batshit crazy this year, too. I've seen this very eager hand. Yes, right there. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah, um, yeah. My friends want to ask, want me to ask Brad about Death Machine and what that movie was like. Death Machine. <laughs> What's Death Machine? Death Machine, I will say, Death Machine, you know, some of you like me are the video store generation, yeah. and you'd go through the, the aisles of VHS tapes, and you'd pick movies based on covers alone, yeah. and some of those covers are burned in your brain. I don't think there's a cover that's more burned in my brain than Death Machine. <laughs> so just for that, thank you. I know you had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what was Death Machine like? Well, it was some um, hard work. <laughs> what was it? Death Machine was a, um, about a genius uh, guy who has never been out of a, uh, uh, of a lab. Um, he's kind of, as a child, he was a, a prodigy and genius, and he, his whole life is in his head. And he gets, he becomes crazy and maniacal and builds this horrible machine that kills people. And he commands it completely. And um, uh, it could have really been something, I think. Wait, it so it's a been really interesting. Uh, uh, but it, it just, the, the machine looks like a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, the machine looks like a, like a like a mechanical chicken, and, and, and it just you're fucking with dreadlocks. Because I did. I like, you know, dreadlocks were good. I didn't care. You know, I could do dreadlocks. Is the, was, is the machine the dinosaur T Rex? Yeah, looking kind of chicken looking. <laughs> And it, it just ultimately, um, it ultimately, some people liked it, you know, I tried. You don't seem the Death Machine fans. Oh, uh, yeah, right down here. So you play both Mika and Chucky. Which one was your favorite to play as? I mean, it's always going to be Chucky because he has so much fun. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's really fun. And then, and Nika just has it, she has it so hard. Did you watch the TV show? Did it scare you at all? I know, you guys get scared. How old were you when you first saw it? Um, I was 
That's it. Uh, and um, it was just, uh, it was a really, um, I didn't like it. Yeah. I'm not fun. Yeah. Second is actually my favorite. Yeah. Uh, fine, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Appreciate your commitment to the show. <laughs> I think two is a lot of people's favorite because that is the one that went from Child's Play, which was as grounded as a movie like that can be, but then shifted it the tone into something more campy mm -hmm. uh, vibe. The the relationship between Alex and, and Christine's character that actually reminds me a lot of me and my sister. So I think oh. that's why. Um, we have time for one more. I can't. I mean, about her. All right, there you go. There you go, man. So okay. Very enthusiastic. The whole time I was waiting, I wanted to ask you guys if you could please do the puppy laugh. But you, yeah. I don't need to do it. Right now. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should. Why did I pick her? <laughs> I. Oh no! Don't make me do this. Thank you. Thank you. 